Yo, what's up YouTube family? Welcome back to the channel. What we're gonna be doing today on this STI, on this mission to make this STI 100% perfect is doing a full cut and buff on the car. So I'll be going through wet sanding some of the areas that need to be wet sanded. The stuff we had to be painted, mainly like the wing, the fender to the door. There's still some dirt and like uh, orange peel in those areas. And then we're gonna be going through buffing out the car. Well, it's probably like a four or five stage buff. And black is very, very, very picky when it comes to like swirl marks and whatnot. So I'm gonna do my best. I'm not a professional. I just do what I can at home. So I'll show you how I really go about getting this car to look as best as I can without any swirl marks. The first thing you wanna do when you're buffing out or detailing any car is obviously get it clean. So I'm gonna go ahead, give this STI a quick bath, and then we can move on to the fun stuff. The car is all cleaned up and we are ready to start. Let me show you guys the process we will be doing today. So with this big buffer, we got the two bigger wheels. This is a press the stage two kit. So this is step one with a pretty aggressive pad. Step two is a finishing polish with a much less aggressive pad. That'll get your car like really, really, really shiny. But being that it's black, we're gonna have a lot of swirls in it. So from there, we're gonna move on to a smaller dual action buffer. And we have these two compounds here. This one is an advanced swirl removal made by Pinnacle with a black pad and then advanced finishing polish with a blue pad. And we'll be using both of those on the buffer, on this dual action buffer. And typically from there, we would go to wax the car. This is some Pinnacle wax, really, really good stuff. It is pretty expensive, but this time around, I'm not actually gonna be waxing the car. I'm gonna be attempting to ceramic coat this car at home by myself. So what we're gonna do first, guys, is kind of go around the car, mask off a lot of the trim pieces. It's a lot easier just to mask it off right now versus trying to get a lot of the wax and compound off after, or not wax, just com buffing compound. Trying to get that off after, after it's dried up is a straight pain. So I'm gonna go around the car, mask a lot of this stuff off. I'll show you guys everything I do in a second. Here's the car all masked off. So what we did is all the trim around the windows. We did that roof rail, some of the tail light up in the mirrors because those are super, super hard to get cleaned. Um, just threw some paper right there, threw a piece of paper under the hood scoop for the intercooler, took out the grill, threw paper behind that area, some of the top of the headlights, and then same thing on this side as well. So we are ready to start buffing this thing out. The first thing I'm gonna be using is this big buffer right here with the most aggressive buffing wheel that I have with the cutting compound from Presta. This is a two-step kit and this is step number one. So let's get started guys. I do have the squirt bottle right here filled up with water so when the compound starts getting a little bit drier I'm gonna just mist down the fender or whatever panel we're, we are working on with some water. I'll be starting off with this fender working my way back and I'm gonna go panel by panel so I'll do that whole fender, the whole door, and the mirror that whole door and then the pillar with the quarter panel all in one piece. Being that I did just have this fender painted, they didn't wet sand it or get any of this dirt or orange peel out of here. So that's what I'm gonna be doing first with some, I think this is 1500 grit sandpaper. I'm gonna go ahead and call that a day on the west sanding right there. It looks pretty, Pretty dang flat now. So I'm gonna take the rest of it with the buffer. Step one is all done. We got all of these, the standing scratches out with the compound and this really aggressive pad. That can take out like 1200 to 1500 grit sandpaper scratches. Next up is we're gonna move on to polishing out the fender. This is probably my favorite. So this is step two of Presta. This is where you start to see all the shine come out of that Java black coat paint. Let's get after it, see what we can do. All right, the fender is buffed and polished out. Next thing I'm gonna do is move on to swirl removal. So we're gonna be using this dual action uh, buffer right here with an advanced swirl advanced swirl removal made by Pinnacle on this pretty soft, not very aggressive uh, black pad. After we get the swirl removal, we're gonna move on to the advanced 
finishing polish and that should make it 100% perfect. I'm getting this whole panel done and then I'm gonna take it outside out in the sun and see if there's any swirls at all on this fender or any scratches we missed. If I like how the fender turned out, I'm gonna bring the car back in the shop and just bust the rest of it out. outside see how she looks holy crap guys look at this freaking fender this is nuts turned out so freaking good damn that is so impressive i am freaking pumped all right well that is the process i'm going to be doing step one presta step two presta and then the advanced swirl removal and then advanced polishing compound, I think it was, on the dual action. The last two are on the dual action buffer. Um, let me go bust out the rest of the car and probably just run like a time lapse or something. I'm not really feeling myself right now. I, I really don't feel like talking on the camera. I just feel so under the weather. Probably should not be out here doing this right now, but I'm gonna pull the car in the shop, get it busted out, and then we can pull the whole car outside and see how she looks. I'm freaking hyped though. This Java Black Pearl is such a crazy color. Now the next day, yesterday I definitely was not feeling up to getting this car 100% done. So what we got done yesterday was the whole passenger side of the car and the back of the car, the back bumper, the trunk and the wing. I ended up pulling the wing off just to get the trunk like buffed out completely and that made it a lot easier. So what we're gonna start on this morning is start with the front of the car, the bumper and the hood. What I'm gonna do on the hood though is throw a tape line down the center of it and buff out one side of the hood and then peel the tape off and see how much better the right side looks versus the left side, the, the side we did not buff. The only reason I'm doing that is to see how big of a difference we're actually making on this car. The car is turning out absolutely phenomenal. I'm very, very hyped on it and I cannot wait to get this thing cleaned up, get out in the sun and see how good it really looks. I may end up pulling this hood scoop off. I don't know if I can get the buffer all the way under here. So we'll see, we'll see what I can do. I'll definitely buff the scoop on the car though. And then I'll, then I may pull it off and do the hood. Here's the official before and after. That is a before, obviously, and that is an after. And we still have some sweet dents right there. That's pretty dope. This is dry. This is no buffing compound on that side. That's disgusting. Nice and smooth. I think I might go get those dents pulled out too. Damn, that is a crazy, crazy difference. Let's bust out the rest of this front end and then we can move on to that driver's side.
The car is fully buffed out. We are ready to go. I cannot wait to get this thing outside and into the sun. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and wash the car, get all the tape off, wash the car, get it all cleaned up. If we bring it outside right now, a lot of that buffing compound that sucks on like the windows and the trim, it's all going to start baking on there. So I'd rather get it off and then we can bring it out in the sun, make sure it's all good to go. If we have any swirl marks anywhere, I'll just touch them up with the dual action buffer right there. But she's looking absolutely amazing, guys. Look at that freaking gloss. Look at the shine. Oh man, that's crazy. All right, boys, this is it. The car is done. Let's pull her outside and see how good of a job we actually did on this thing. I'm hoping and freaking praying there's no swirl marks whatsoever and we can just bring it back in the shop and get, get the rest of the compound cleaned up and like the door jams. But let's bring it outside, see what's up. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, that is insane. Look at that Java. Look at the Java Black Pearl. That is freaking insane. I think it's safe to say that this is 100% the nicest paint job, nicest, nicest body of a car I've ever owned in my life. It's absolutely insane how good this thing has turned out with the PDR, with the buff. Next thing we're gonna be doing is a ceramic coat. So guys, stay tuned for that video. Um, I'm not sure when it's gonna happen. I kinda have to figure out how to do it, but you guys will see the whole process of me trying to figure out how to actually ceramic coat a car. I know black is a bit more picky to do than like a white or a silver car. So anything I use in this video will be linked down in the description box below. The two, the two buffers I used, all the buffing compounds, the pads, all that good stuff will be linked down in the description box below. If you have any comments or questions regarding like buffing out a car, detailing it, drop it down in the comment section below. I'll try my best to answer anything you guys, any questions you guys have. I'm not a pro by any means, but this car did turn out very, very well. I'm very excited. Such a rewarding feeling getting it out in the sun and like it being perfect. So it's freaking crazy. That's going to be it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it helped you out in some sort of way or if you're just watching it for like entertainment, that's dope too. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. I'll see you in the next video.